Hello friends and welcome back to Mine Colonies Off The Rails. So I am currently standing outside my warehouse guys, we did get a warehouse built. And we've also got a courier's hut over on the right hand side at the side of the builder's huts. Uh, if you did miss that, I did live stream it uh, yesterday, I shall stick the link in the description if you want to go and take a little look here. And remember to make sure your notifications are on and to hit that subscribe button if you want to be informed of when I go live. So, without further ado, let's get in to some taking a look around. <laughs> so, right off the bat, we have an annoying wandering trader that's just uh, nearly stepped into my body. That's personal space, dude. Head back. Right, so this is the steampunk style warehouse. Now, there's not a lot going on at the minute. We do have a worker, because we have had a few children, guys. We've had a few children. Call it breeding like bunny rabbits, or whatever you like to call it. But we've had some children born. So we have more citizens. So if we come over here, right at the very end, Amaya is the courier. And this is her little hut. Now it was built a little bit down into the ground. But I corrected that because it just didn't look right. Now this is our little uh, courier's hut. It's only level one, but we are all running steampunk. So all of our builds are currently the same. I do believe steampunk does not have certain buildings, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. That's the greenhouse that you've all seen. Now I'm heading up here because we did finally get our farm in. Uh, it's been built currently. And Alex now apparently needs eight round dark oak planks, which I have supplied him with. So I think that's down to the courier to take them back. He hasn't started work on it yet. He's still digging out the foundations. But we will be coming back to that later on. Now, I did have to put another guard tower there right next to the current one. Now, I'm not sure... He's digging down a little bit, isn't it? Now, I'm not sure whether I'm going to remove this or keep it where it is. I don't like how close it is to the current one, you see. Uh, someone's wanting in here. Oh my days, it starts guys, it starts. Uh, I could help you with that. Yeah, carrot and potato, yes we can sort that. It starts, absolutely beautiful. Nice pandemic straight off the bat. So, what are we going to be getting into this episode? Well, I do want to put another building up, but I'm not quite sure which one. Now we have the warehouse, we have the courier's hut. Uh, what else guys and girls we could do with the university straight off the bat however it is going to need quite a significant amount of space that I just don't have right now we're getting the farm put up uh, and I'm not quite sure what else we're gonna need if there's any suggestions of what you want me to do then stick that into the comments but for right now I think we're going to sort our Alex out with whatever else he needs and we're going to come on back with a new build that I'll place, I think. So, a few thinking moments later and I have decided that we're going to put a restaurant down, guys and girls. We do need an apple for the restaurant. like so so we do have a restaurant i do have carrots and potatoes although i do think we are actually going to need to plant some of these carrots so i'm going to take a hole with me we do have the greenhouse area so i'm going to plant some carrots in there and we are going to get ourselves over and we're going to place this restaurant build so it turns out that we have a little bit of space here and I quite like the restaurant close to the tavern so if I can have a little look 
here. So I do believe we're going to have to start pulling land up there. So what I'm thinking is, if we put the restaurant round about here, up on this little area, and we're going to have a look to see how it looks. Maybe we could have it here, eh, guys? Maybe. Let's have a look. Right, so is it under fundamentals? It is under fundamentals. We are on steampunk. And we want level five. Now, it needs turning twice because I've just seen the door. Oh, or maybe not. It's all right, guys. My bad. My bad. So if we do that and we do bring it up and I'm going to put it. It's quite a nice little building that also. Let's take a look at the back because there is a door on the back. So the back is pretty much the same. Right, so that's okay. So if I pull it towards me a little bit. And we go in, round about there. I'll be right with you, Amaya. See, now I want to pull it forward. And let's just see where the front of this build is. Because it would be good for all the paths, you see. So, I can bring it about there. Then we're going to have a look. We're going to take it over a little bit further from the guard tower. And I think we're going to fire away on there, guys and girls. And what I'm going to do is take a couple of blocks. Because it'll probably make me uh, jump on the blocks to hit the build so we're going to do that we're going to jump up we still can't reach which is absolutely fantastic so i'm going to take that down we're going to build up again and finally we can do that so furnace cobble wall spruce stairs campfire dirt dark oak door stone pressure plate and everything is basically Pretty simple and straightforward. We do need a bakery. Well, that can come later, I suppose. Right, so. That is our restaurant, ready to rock and roll. I am going to go and find Amaya and our other dude that needs healing. Oh, it's Witness. Sorry, Whitney, I called you a dude. Good day to you. I'll work on that petal. Are you not poorly? Well, she doesn't look poorly to me. Let's go and find the next one. Oh, it's Thaddeus. Thaddeus, Thaddeus. I'll get you a sword in due course, my friend. Just take your carrot and your taters. And get yourself healed, sunshine. But you can heal up there if you like. Let's go and find Amaya. Amaya? Er, Anya, sorry. Come here, pet. Do you want to heal today? Good day to you. And are you? Right, so carrots and potatoes, just for you, pet. I'm also going to give her some food. That's probably why she's ill, guys. I'm killing them all. So, before we settle down, to watch Alex doing the farm, I think we're going to plant some carrots in here, people. I might throw some potatoes in also, because there's no one working here right now. So if I, I'm just going to put carrots in there like that. But with the workers not actually using them, it makes no odds what I put in here, to be fair. So I'm going to put the carrots in. I'm going to put a potato in. And we're good to go. I think next time we come back, we're going to watch the farm being built. So get ready for something that could be quite long, guys and girls, but hopefully enjoyable.
We interrupt this build with an important announcement. We are being raided, guys. We are being raided. Queen M to the rescue. Right, now where are these dang barbs? Well, I'm glad someone can get tucked into bed nice and cleanly. Let's go and find where these little buggers are, shall we? Hmm. Well, here they are, guys. Looks like the day of the Triffids, doesn't it? Hmm, taking their bittersweet time, floating along the water. Ah, there you are. Me old mucker, me old pal. How be you? Well, that's cheating if you're just standing up there and firing arrows at me, isn't it? Isn't it, dude? Oh, well. Only one left? Oh, no, they're all gone. Let's get back to the build, guys, shall we? So, that seemed like the longest build ever. This is our tier one steampunk farm. Thank you, Alex. That's just a quaint little farmhouse. We do have a field over this side. We do have a garden area, by all counts, over this side of the little bridge. And we have some open land. So yes, guys and girls, that is our steampunk T1 farm. Anyway, friends, that does bring us to the end of this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.